Every once in a while, I feel the need to start anew, to start with the clean slate. I look at my current situation and ask, what do I need to change to feel better about myself? The best way I know is to subtract, go back to the basics, and build from there. So thanks to Folane for sponsoring this video, clean. First, I want to redo my positive habits since I've fallen off of my routine. I want to instill the practices of journaling daily, this keeps my mind sane, meditating daily to stay present and calm, and reading daily, which I consider either reading a book or consuming knowledge through audiobooks or a podcast. I used to read 10 pages every night, but honestly, I haven't done that in months. When I was consistently consuming new knowledge, I was staying inspired and in awe of the world. I was stretching myself, so I want to go back and do that again. While I was traveling, I allowed myself to enjoy all the food there, which was great, but now I'm ready to clean up my eating habits. I'm focusing on eating mostly whole foods that come from nature, foods I can eat guilt-free that nourish my body and make me feel good. As with the foods I put into my body, I also consider what products I use on my body. Clean beauty is an area I fully support and have been exploring over the years. Our skin is our largest organ, absorbing up to 60% of the products applied to it, so it's so important to be conscious of what ingredients go into our products. I recently discovered Folane, which is a clean beauty retailer with a curated selection of the highest performing, safest, 100% non-toxic products. All Folane products undergo a rigorous 5-step approval process to make sure they don't have any harmful ingredients or toxins. So here I'm using the Clean Essentials Kit from Folane, which includes the Ocean Cleanser, Inzi Lee Toner, Ursa Major Face Balm, and Folane Hand and Body Soap. The kit includes travel sizes of four everyday non-toxic skin essentials, cleanser, toner, moisturizer, and soap in a limited edition Folane pouch. I love the fresh ocean smell of the Ocean Cleanser, and I find it interesting that it's made with algae. So the kit is normally $45, but the first 150 people in the US to click the link in the description will get 50% off, making it just $22 with free shipping. So hop on that if you're interested. Of course, starting with a clean slate includes tidying up your home too. You just can't get that fresh restart feeling without doing a full reset of your space. This means unpacking anything we've left lying around, putting everything back in its home, and doing a deep clean of our apartment. A clean home also means using clean ingredients and household products when we can. You guys know I love essential oils and I've made my own DIY cleaning spray, hand soap recipes, and even toothpaste with all natural ingredients. I've also replaced dryer sheets with wool balls and I have soap nuts to replace laundry detergent, but my boyfriend is afraid to use them. So I'm still struggling with my boyfriend who likes to buy these products in store, but I'm not perfect either. It's just all a work in progress and a learning experience as we go. I'm also figuring out how to put more effort into creativity, to put more time into planning and experimenting, innovating and taking risks, rather than falling back on the same methods and doing things the easy way. I want to infuse joy into creating again. I never want it to feel like work, which it sometimes does. Ultimately, I want to come back to me. I want to be able to create honestly and authentically and not have to worry about what others think, the results I'll get, or how well-liked I am. I tend to worry about things like that and it cripples my ability to be myself freely. So I have this deep desire to be liked or appear successful and I'm used to acting on that, but Coming clean means learning how to be 100% myself in all situations around all people all the time. And that's still something that I'm learning how to do. How can I be less shy, reserved, and afraid? How can I live more fully with more joy and zest for life? I have to learn to be me and love me. And in order to do that, I must come clean, start fresh, and rebuild. 
So it's okay to fall off and into a slump sometimes, as long as you're self-aware enough to kick yourself in the butt and start again. There's always something you can change to make your life better. What is it for you? Thank you.